welcome to the Superoffice Product Roundup. Today, we have two new features that we're excited to share with you. First, we'll talk about the new marketing dashboards, which everyone who sends out mailings, not just us in marketing, will find very useful. Then also, with the help of your mobile CRM app, there's a really cool improvement in the quote approval process, making it so much faster and smoother. Here with me today is Jeanette, who will show and tell us more about these news so that you can start exploring and experience these benefits for yourself. And we're going to start with the marketing dashboards. And as someone working in marketing, I am so thrilled about this piece of news. I have spent so much time looking for uh, data and to, and to compare it and see how well our communications are performing or not because it's all about improving and uh, doing less of what doesn't work and more of what works. So it really is that simple. Yes, and there's a lot of data available in Superoffice and some great reports for individual mailing SAM forms. Uh, but now I'm happy to say it's also possible to see performance and trends across marketing activities. And, and this is because there are some new fields for mailings, forms and chat available in the Find feature. Uh, and these new fields makes it possible to create selections and new dashboard reports. So that means I'll be able to find answers to questions like what mailing is performing the best or what subscription type gets the highest response or what forms get the greatest number of leads. Isn't that correct? Yeah, for sure. So you get answers to these and many more related questions. That's great. Now, I know you prepared a little demo for us, Jeanette, so please go ahead and give us an introduction. In this demo, we'll look at how you can use Superoffice to track key marketing metrics and make this available and more importantly, visible to you and your team. Today, you can see how an individual mailing has performed by looking at the report tab on your mailing, like the example I'm showing you here. But now you're also able to track performance across marketing activities. For example, your mailings, chat and forms that you have created to engage with your audiences. And this is possible because there are new search criteria available to find data, and there are new tiles added to the dashboard function in Superoffice. And here's an example of such a report that can give you answers to your questions like what mailings performing the best, what subscription type gets the highest response, what forms get the greatest number of leads, and you can also track open and click through rate of your mailings and much, much more. And before we dive into the new dashboard tiles in more detail, let me show you the new search criteria I mentioned. In Find, you'll see that you can now search across chat, forums, and mailings. Now, if you're familiar with Find, you'll know that there's some ready-made searches available that can help you get started quickly. And these are predefined search criteria to find specific data. And now you can search for, for example, mailings with a specific click rate or open rate to see which mailings performed above or below your expectations. You can see forms and chats, so you can gather data and learn, for example, what form performs the best or what chat channel your customers prefer the most. And you can, of course, change these criteria to suit you. Like all analysis, you need to have an idea what you're looking for, but with the find function, it's easy to get started and explore the data available. Like with this selection, which I've already saved, which is called mailings this year. In this example, I've added some criteria to narrow my search so I can get exactly the marketing data I want. So here I can narrow my search on subscription types. And here I can choose to see my user group, which is sales, and I can see the marketing teams. And we can narrow down the search further by using period and choosing this year. And once you've found the data and saved it as a selection, you can visualize it in lists and charts. This makes it easier to understand the data. And there are a range of different types of visualizations available. And to find out which ones works the best, it's often helpful to try them out and you quickly see whether it's better with a list, number, graph, pie chart, and so on. And there are plenty of options to fit your needs. And once you've created your selection chart, you can choose to present this as a tile in your dashboards to visualize your performance against a number of KPIs in one view. Let's go back to dashboards. 
This is the overview of mailings and form submissions I showed you earlier. I've also made one for chat conversations, but let's focus on mailings and forms for now. To help you create your own dashboard views, you'll find that there are a number of predefined tiles to choose from included in SuperOffice. So here you can see that we've added some templates for forms, chat conversations, and mailings. And each tile can be further defined to help you compare and view the data across different variables, giving you many options to track different performance criteria that's important to your company at any given time. And you can, of course, add charts from selections you create, like in my example earlier, like this. Now you can easily track and share the results of your marketing efforts with your organization, as well as analyze and improve your future actions. Thank you, Jeanette. So I see there's a lot of possibilities and helpful reports that I can set up to track what I need to be on top of. Now, if I'm new to this or just not familiar with creating selections or defining reports, where do I go? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, great documentation in the learn section in our community. Um, but sometimes the fastest way is to get some help to create the reports you want and at the same time get some immediate training. So any of your SuperOffice contacts will be able to assist with more information on that. Excellent. That's well to remember. Now, the next set of news we want to share today is about our mobile CRM app. Yes, uh, and mobile CRM, if anyone doesn't already know, uh, it's a mobile app of SuperOffice, giving you access to everything you really need from your SuperOffice on the move. And for example, you can always have access to your diary, uh, your CRM contacts, your sales opportunities and dashboards, and even service tickets uh, so that you can, or you're able to act and follow up uh, on the activities at any time and anywhere. And one of the things that regularly needs to be done on the move is the act of approving quotes. Exactly. So if a sales rep needs to give a discount above a certain level, uh, it's common to seek the approval of a manager. And approval is a standard feature in SuperOffice Quote. But today there's not been really any notification to the manager that someone is waiting for a quote approval. So that communication needs to be done in other channels and that I think adds effort and extra time that can maybe even towards some of the sales. I, I do know having worked in sales that last stage uh, negotiations can sometimes mean that timing is everything. Which is why the approval process is a whole lot smoother when done in conjunction with mm -hmm. mobile CRM. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Imagine that you have a sales process on the go. You're about to close and you're doing some last negotiations. To secure this deal, you need to give a discount level that needs your manager's approval. Typically, the ask for an extra discount is a quick decision. So to keep the momentum, you want to respond fast with an updated quote. You update your quote in SuperOffice. And then to send it to your prospect, you need to ask for approval. SuperOffice suggests the person you asked last time, but also gives you access to all persons in your company with approval rights. Select the right person, add your comment, and send. Now, if you're the manager, you get instantly notified on your phone and can open the sale directly from the notification. Here you will see all the important details and approve or deny the quote. And if you dismiss the notification, don't worry, you can access it again under notifications where you will find a new tab with your quote approvals. Now back to the fun stuff, let's approve the quote. Click approve, add a reason. These are predefined but customizable. And we're done. If we go back to the notifications, you will see it's updated. Now, as a sales rep, you get notified with the good news, the quote is approved. A tap on the notification takes you to the sale, where you can get more details and read the manager's comment. 
Similarly, you can check the notification overview to see the credit approvals. The only thing left to do now is to close the deal. This looks great and so much smoother. I'm pretty sure this will help many sales processes out there. I agree. And there's actually another cool new feature in Mobile CRM uh, out now. Uh, and that's the search function has been improved significantly. So for example, you can search for a phone number uh, and find the contact or the email address. You can also search using project number or even the name of a sale. Uh, and that will help you find what you're looking for. And you can also start the search from the search button on your keyboard, which is closer to your thumb, making it easier to actually perform a search. Great stuff. I love it. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Mobile Serum app happens to be free. Yes. And if you haven't got it on your phone already, go to the Superoffice App Store and download it today. Excellent. Thank you, Jeanette, for demonstrating for us today. And we hope these new features will be of value to many of you out there. We also know there's more great stuff to come. So stay tuned or get in touch if you have feedback or questions. Thank you. Thank you.